Hello guys, uh, welcome back to my channel Maison African Motives, still working on engineering science entry. So actually in this platform we shall have a continuation working on question papers and revisions. So in this platform we shall be working on question number six which is on hydraulics and uh, as we can see guys the total of this question six is a total of 12 marks there, everything 12 marks. So if you are new guys you can consider subscribing so that you won't actually miss any of the classes that we shall be having from Maison African Motives. So as you can see guys, the first question on 6.1 uh, is to explain the following terminology in hydraulics. So which means they need you to answer uh, this uh, using terminology that is under hydraulics. Okay, so the first question is hydraulic itself, hydrostatics, fluidity, and we've got uh, five marks for everything there. All right, so these are the definitions that we are having here. Hydraulics refers to the pressure and work done of fluids. Then we've got uh, hydrostatics, which refers to the fluids that are at rest, which means uh, the refers to the fluids that are at rest. And fluidity is a fluid which has no form but takes up form of vessel in which it is captured or in which it is stored in the vessel that is going to take the shape of that uh, vessel that you'll be having or a container that will be that will be uh, the fluidity there all right then on 6.2 we are given a single action water pump with a piston diameter all right so let's just take the information here we're given the diameter in millimeters is to deliver 1,4 times 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meters of water per stroke, take note per each stroke. The average force exerted on the piston is in per working stroke. All right. So that's what we are having here, guys. 6.2. We have the diameter of 120 millimeters. And we know that whenever you're given this, you have to write it in meters. So in meters that is we're going to divide by 1000 in this case so which means if you divide by 1000 you're going to be left with 0, 0.12 meters all right then we are given the volume in this case here per stroke which is 1,4 times 10 to the power minus 3 cubic meters per stroke all right then the average we, a force exerted on the piston is we are given the force per stroke again so the average force that's 2,4 kilo newton and we know that kilo means times 10 to the power minus 3 and this is per working stroke again and then the question is calculate the pressure of the fluid during the working stroke during these conditions that we had what will be the average um, what will be the pressure there all right this is what we have guys we've got force we've got the diameter and uh, we need to find the pressure and we know that there's a relationship between these two because um, pressure is equivalent to the force over the area so if you'll find the area per stroke because we are given the diameter. Remember guys, whenever you're given the diameter area, it's pi d squared over four like this. All right, that means we can calculate area first, or we can just do this guys. We can um, just put it this way, since we know that pressure is force over area, and we have got the force, and we said area is pi d squared, we can just substitute here. This is our force, which is 2,4 times 10 to the power three, remember? times 10 to the power 3 that's 2,4 times 10 to the power 3 which is going to give us 2,400 newtons so you've got 2,400 newton over the area and you said our area it's pi d squared over 4 so you're going to have pi times d squared which is this d in meters 0 0.12 squared over 4 like this so this you have to put it in a bracket like this that is what you're going to do you put the division then this part you open it in a bracket just like as it is here so this is going to give you a decimal like um 
212,389. Yeah, if you round it off properly uh, in kilonewtons, in kilopascals, I mean, because we had obtained 212,389,3 something, something. So this is going to just remain as 8, but you put to kilo, which is going to be here. So it will be kilo. Remember, I told you that, guys, that kilo, you've got three digits after the comma so that is three digits after the comma that would be kilo so that's what you're going to have or you just write it as two one two three nine eight uh, pascals like that yeah, like that it's still it's one and the same thing so that's what we had guys on this one we have the pressure now and uh the other question is now asking us to determine or to calculate the length of the stroke so the question is the length where can we obtain the length okay this is it guys we know that uh, when we are given the volume because they were given the volume this is the formula for the volume of a pump pi d squared over four times the height so this is uh, <coughs> the sorry this is actually the volume the, uh, the formula for the volume this one so as you can see on this formula there is a height this one so in order for you to find this height you are going to divide by this which is the area this represents the area because we are actually saying volume is equivalent to base area times height so this part represents the area all that part that you are seeing there is there is the area so that means our h we are going to divide v by this part so it's going to be the volume over pi d squared over 4 like this so that is going to give us the height so which means we shall have our h as the volume remember the volume we are given in this case per stroke everything is per stroke this volume that we have here which is 1 comma 4 times 10 to the power minus 3 over the area which is this pi d squared and we talked about this pi d squared our d 0 comma 1 2 so it's going to be pi times 0 0.12 squared over 4 like this which is our area all right or you can just calculate this area aside then here you just substitute so our height is going to be something like 0 comma 1 2 3 8 9 something like that okay of which if we round off this is going to give us 0 comma 1 2 4 this is going to round this one into 4 and this will be in meters since this volume was in cubic meters the area was in square meters so it's going to give us meters here so that will be the height so take note guys the height from the volume you just take it from the volume volume it's area times height so if it's area times height area it's pi d squared over 4 then you simply make this height the subject or you substitute here then you simplify then you divide i don't know the way that you're going to use but at the end this is going to be your height all right then let's see also the other question that we are given here is to calculate the work done per stroke length now we need to calculate the work done per stroke length okay so what will be the work done so we know that um whenever uh using the information that we have here uh so far we have got the pressure we've got the, a lot we've got the volume also so we know that uh, actually work done can be taken from power if we can take this which means the work done is going to be uh, the pressure actually times the velocity yes from the power we can take pressure times volume which is going to give us the work done in in joules like this so pressure times volume all right so remember our pressure guys we obtained this value here so it actually depends like uh, what are you going to do if you use this in kilo which means your answer is going to be in kilo in kilojoules because remember i said these are joules so it is going to be kilojoules that is if you use this one in kilo um that's two one two comma three 
eight nine kilo times the volume uh remember guys our volume was uh we are given the volume here which is one comma four times ten to the power minus three here one comma four times ten to the power minus three so this is going to give us a uh, zero comma nine two nine seven like this which is in kilojoules if you round off properly that will be in kilojoules because we used this in kilopascals but if you don't want to use this, will you use it as two one two three eight nine times one comma four times ten to the power minus three without kilo? This is going to give us two nine seven joules like this. That will be our work done. So, like I'm saying that, you can choose to use your work done in kilojoules. Your in kilo, uh, this pressure I mean in kilopascals. You are going to obtain your work done in kilojoules. Or you can use your pressure in pascals you're going to obtain your answer in normal joules like that without kilojoules okay so that's what we had guys on this question as you can see 